Doctors told me the root of this outbreak is poor hygiene, so homeless people and people who use drugs in unhygienic settings are easier targets. It's not obvious when you first see him, but 28-year-old Matthew Hinkson has been homeless on and off for five years. I want to say I want to hide it. I just don't want it to define my existence. He told me he landed in this situation because of his drug addiction. Uh, I use heroin. Okay. Yeah. How long have you been using it? Uh, it's been about a decade. Right now, I'm fortunate enough to have someone let me into their home to shower and kind of clean up. It's been about a week. But some weeks are more challenging. To stay like at parks or uh, sometimes schools when they're closed down, uh, the homeless shelters are just not the cleanest places to be. Doctors with the Southern Nevada Health District told me people like Hinkson are some of the most at risk of a recent hepatitis A outbreak in Clark County. We've seen an increase in the number of acute hepatitis A cases. Um, the biggest risk factors are homelessness or ex people experiencing homelessness and people who use drugs. Of the 37 reported cases in the county, 86% use drugs, 65% experienced homelessness. The virus is mainly passed along from person to person through what doctors call the fecal oral route, like when you use the bathroom and don't wash your hands. People who live in homeless encampments or who have unstable housing, um, where they live, they don't necessarily have access to, you know, running water, soap, and then they touch food. It's a huge risk factor. Hinkson told me he'll be more vigilant. Doctors tell me it's treatable with vaccines and practicing good hygiene can help too. In Nevada, hepatitis A vaccines have been required for children when it comes to school entry since July 1st, 2002. Abby Tedros, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.